Hi, my name is Tom. I'm here with uh, Ewan and we're going to give you some uh, ski tips for your holiday. Today we're going to talk about standing on our skis and how we can use all the tools available to make adjustments as we go skiing. So we're talking about uh, ankle joints, knees, hips and the spine as well. Let's look at being balanced on our skis. We want to try and stay nice and centred and not leaning too far forward and likewise not leaning too far back. Somewhere around in the middle. So to stay centred on our skis, we want to be using the ankles, the knees, the hips and the spine. If you have a look at Tom here, we can see him flexing and extending his joints all in conjunction with each other to be able to stay nice and centered on the skis. Okay, so if we look at our ankles, I often say to people to try and think about making the boots squeak. If we're doing that, we know we're bending our ankles. Don't forget when we're bending our ankles, a small movement with the ankles is, is going to create a lot of movement further up the body. A lot like the top of a mast on a boat when you're at sea in big waves. So using the mast analogy, down at the base here, a small movement has a big effect up top. So if you imagine the pole being your body, small movement in your ankle down here, big balancing effect on the top of your body. We can clearly show how it affects our uh, balance on the centre of our skis um, and using the joints in harmony. So if I just bend my ankle joints, I, you can see against the centre line that my weight is too far forward. Again, if I just bend my knee joints, which is really quite hard to do, the centre of mass, the heaviest part of the body, is behind the centre line. Moving up to the hip, if I just bend the hip joint, the heaviest part of the body goes too far forward. So it's a combination of using all three joints and to a certain extent the spine in conjunction, in harmony, to stay nice and balanced on the skis. So building on Ewan's point about using the joints together, a lot of people think that you're not supposed to stick your bum out. If you don't allow your bum to move backwards when you're bending, you can't bend that much. So sticking your bum out can be a good thing, as long as you stay in balance as you're doing it. So as my bum moves backwards, my head moves forwards, and that way I'm maintaining my balance over the balls of my feet. So you can see Tom here using all his joints, ankles, knees, hips, and a nice movement in the upper body as well to maintain balance and stay on the centre of the seas.